For more, let's bring in Nilay Patel, Editor-in-Chief at The Verge, and Ross Gerber, Gerber Kawasaki, CEO and President and Apple shareholder. So uh, what do you think here, Nilay? Are you excited about a best of apps event? I think the important thing to note is that only Apple can get away with holding an entire event in New York, having the developers come in, treating it like the mini Oscars. Their app store is an incredible moat for that company. It's hard to think of another company that would celebrate its ecosystem in this way. Ross, what do you think? When you're looking at apps as part of Apple's bottom line, does it matter to you that they are continuing to celebrate them and lift them up and put them on a big platform under a global spotlight? Oh, I mean, I think they need to do this because it's a monopoly that's charging a huge tariff to do business through Apple. And so they need to justify that with the app developers. And this is just about placating them. You know, this is very common in business. You give out lots of awards to people. People love awards. They can market that they've gotten awards. But it's really just a way to try to show the developers like, hey, we're doing stuff for you because we're making so much money off of you. And we really aren't very good at making content ourselves. Is that likely to make a difference to the developers who are forking over those big fees? No, I think that they're very unhappy with paying 30%. You know, it's a very high price to pay, and Apple has monopoly, and the government's looking at it. So Apple's trying to reinvest now into its artists by having live streaming events like in music, but also in gaming and, and other apps, and try to show the developers, hey, here's how we're spending money to help you, and by being on our ecosystem, here's the value. So I All get right. what Apple's doing. What do you what do you think so far of this the new services? I mean, the gaming app and the and the music streaming, and you've got uh, Apple Plus TV now uh, trying to shell out new programming, original programming. I mean, this is what people have their phones for: is to use apps, play games, and watch right. TV. Apple's trying to fill in all those boxes for you. I think you look at other competitive app stores, particularly in games, you see those fees dropping, right? The Steam store is dropping its fees. The Epic store is dropping its fees. They're competing for developers inside of those ecosystems. But does that matter if people are buying iPhones and they're using their iPhones to get onto these platforms? I think it does matter. I think once you have a significant investment in apps, your chance of switching to Android is much, much lower. But you look at what Apple is doing in games in particular, their highest revenue line from service fees for that 30% is in-app purchases in games. Now they're starting to pay developers directly for their Apple Arcade subscription service, which creates another sort of virtuous cycle for them to make developers happy, customers happy.